So a follow-up here to the previous video here about my computer case here. So as we can see, I do still have the light spill issues. I haven't gotten around to fixing that, but uh, thanks to you guys and your, you know, superstitions about exploding power supplies, I went ahead and upgraded to the Gen 3 Supernova from EVGA 1000 watt version of that one so I think I'm pretty good on this side but as you can see I've done some more upgrades about making components white inside and you know we'll come back to that in just a little bit here but um, it's cleaning up rather nicely I think and um, get to some of the requested you know available features of this screen here so basically let me close this out here I basically I'm using two things only now so I'm using the uh, engine or back what is this called here a wallpaper yeah wallpaper engine and I'm using rain meter uh, a couple of different little rain meter skins I guess for widgets here I'll list them below but uh, this is the pixel clock and then this is lines and I forget the creators of them um, but they're not the original skins in their whole part they are they are highly edited uh, to make them a lot larger than what they should be there. But um, and then of course co color match to my system. But basically, you know, it, it's all fairly through and through. But yeah, so the background skin there, um, that's that's the live wallpaper for Windows 10 using Wallpaper Engine here. And we'll just go a few different versions of this for different wallpapers. I guess would be the best way to explain it to just kind of show off what you can do with your own system here. So to begin with here, let's go for a lighter colored, colored one. So this may be a little bit difficult to see on screen here, but it's going to be, you know, a few different, um, basically white backgrounds will allow you to see more in the case with darker colors, you know, blocking off more, but you can have different filters, hazes, and basically with Wallpaper Engine, you can put any sort of video file in there and it'll basically do what you want it to. Um, so this is a lot clearer in person. Um, the LCD screen recording that through a camera is a little bit strange here to say the least here, but, um, but yeah, so, but basically, um, it's, it's fairly, it's fairly straightforward. Um, and personally, I like it a lot here. So now some people are talking about, Hey, why aren't you using RGB strips? Well, this is why basically you can use it, but it's not very easily visible with using other color spectrums here. So here's a quick little flash through of all the different individual colors here. Um, but yeah, so oh, hold on, this isn't really getting it to full brightness. Let me do each individual color here. So go down the line of colors here. So you can see some of them are more visible than others. And of course I'm using red text. So it's not as highly visible as if it were just like I said, just using white. So, and yes, you can dim it and you can rebrighten it. And as need be, you can turn it off and you can turn it on. So, um, and yeah, the light you're still seeing in there is that my motherboard has a background RGB on it. So, or a backlit RGB. So, um, but yeah. So this is with the can panel off now. So as you can see, I've gone through and 3 3D printed some covers, covered components in white, and even gone with a white wiring uh, wiring kit here. So inside here, these are all the power supplies for the RGB strips. As you can see, I've got them routed to the top and bottom here. Um, not not the happiest with this wiring job, but I mean it's fairly clean for how stiff the wires are. And as you can see, it is an EVGA Supernova 1000 watt Gen 3 version. So these little covers, they're not permanent. I haven't damaged the components. They're not blocking heat or anything. Um, I can just pull this uh, little cover off of here. Same thing with the uh, one covering the, um, the processor cooler as well there. The H80i is what I've got on here. Uh, the EVGA power links, they are painted, however. Um, and this stuff here on the H80, um, that's basically just covering with uh, the self-closing nylon covering there um, but yeah these are the 
RGB strips that you can see. I've got three in the bottom and three in the top. Um, and then there's two more on the door, of course. So, I mean, if it was just just this, I mean, I'd be pretty happy with that as well. But as everyone just keep on keeps on saying, do a tutorial, do a tutorial. Well, this is why I'm not going to do a tutorial. So the simply said is that this monitor that I've linked in the description, and once again, it's a very straightforward. It's a USB. They went with really cheap put together parts, and it is USB 3.0 which is why I can't do an internal wiring because I have only one USB 3.0 header in the computer itself so I have to route it out the back side and plug it in from the back so um, and then these are just to plug in the USB the uh, LED, RGB strips on the monitor itself so yeah it's a bunch of foil understandably you know it's reflective and it sort of helps make sure the inside is a lot brighter as well but um, I've got the USB cable <laughs> strip through here. Underneath this right here is going to be the actual LCD panel control board and then these are the drivers and back. But um, I've got everything insulated using electrical tape before sticking the highly conductive aluminum tape on top of there all the way around the size of it. Um, and that's also what's keeping it on is the electrical tape and the aluminum tape is enough rigidity and the panel is light enough that it stays on there. Um, so the thing though is that when you're opening up the LCD panels you'll see something very similar to this inside there so you'll have to take a razor blade and cut it out but there's so many different configurations it's not feasible for me to go through I'll link down below to a couple of tutorials I found online of how to take apart their particular monitors but um, yeah it's just honestly there, there's way too many different variables for this and what to find and what to expect I don't know because there's literally been you know thousands of different monitors being put out there um, and so this is just how I install this here uh, routing the door door power on both ends here on uh, you know if you have a cable or a, a side panel that has a swing on there or a hinge it's probably going to be a lot easier for you but basically what we're looking at though is that unfortunately I'm not going to do a tutorial right there's there's just simply no way for me to be able to do this for you guys here um, I don't have the income to do that um, you know this this is already a large chunk of my income into this computer project as is but um, yeah so the only thing is that really you know it's 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 been a fun project so far you know a large portion of this is just doing this on your own and it's going to be a situation where you know it, it is exploration you don't know what's going to happen until you try it um, you know from what I've heard some people have been finding that you know their panels have a integrated you know clear sheet on them they can't get rid of and that works out because their cases are black but only thing I can really say to that is you know unfortunately this is this is what custom is all about you know there are no set components for you to work off so you know may Gaben be with you as it were and basically you know that's that's kind of the whole situation is that it is a bit of a gamble kind of like these steam cells here but yeah so last thing to say is well just do it <laughs> So yeah, so this is Josh of Pixel 6 Designs. Thanks for watching and have fun trying this on your own as well.